If you're interested in applying to the OMSCS, this video will give you an overview of what courses are available and how to apply. The OMSCS has four specialization tracks that you can choose from when working through the program. The tracks are Computational Perception and Robotics, Machine Learning, Computing Systems, and Interactive Intelligence. The tracks will have some crossover in the available elective selections, but the specialization track will narrow down the courses you can take and fit into your planned course of study. The OMSCS requires you to take 10 courses with five to six of those courses falling in your specialization, their main courses being free electives. All the core and specialization electives must be completed with a grade of B or better, and all courses must be passed with a C or better. In order to graduate, you must hold a cumulative GPA of at least 3.0. If you choose the computational perception track, you need to complete one advanced algorithms course and one of artificial intelligence or machine learning. Then you have three electives to select from perception or robotic focus areas. You need to complete at least one course from each area. The machine learning track requires one advanced algorithms course and one of machine learning or computational data analysis. Next, you need to take three courses in the machine learning focus area. The computing systems track has a ton of courses to choose from, but you must pick one of either CS6505 or CS6515 and two other core courses. Then you pick three electives from a large list of available courses. Lastly, we have the interactive intelligence track where you need to take one algorithm and design course and two courses focused in either AI or machine learning. Next, you need to select two electives from either the interaction or cognition focus areas. I'll put links in the description for you to go directly to specialization track pages if you want to learn more details. You can click on the course links if they're available to tell about the course objectives and requirements and you can also take a look at sample syllabus. My quick two cents on the curriculum of the OMSCS if you're considering applying is to make sure that it meets your learning goals. The course availability to me is the most important factor when considering it when you're looking at a program to apply to. Luckily for most applicants, the OMSCS will have a specialization track that fits what you need and compared to other competitor programs, the OMSCS has a huge selection of elective courses. Enough talk about courses, let's hit on the admissions process for the OMSCS. First, let's talk about the requirements. The admission process in the OMSCS is well-defined and concise compared to most master's degree programs you're going to find out in the wild. The only real requirements are an undergraduate degree from a regionally accredited institution, and if you're an international student, a TOEFL score of 600 or better for the paper base or 100 or better for the internet base. That's it. There's no GRE requirement or professional work experience requirement. If you meet those requirements, it's feasible for you to apply and gain admission. It doesn't, however, mean that you're going to get it automatically. The preferred candidate will have a computer science, mathematics, computer engineering, or electrical engineering undergraduate degree with a 3.0 GPA or higher. As for the application itself, you're gonna to need to provide personal information, academic history, resume, career objectives, a background essay, and a statement of purpose. You're also gonna to need to acquire three letters of recommendation. Once admitted, within the first 12 months, you must complete a foundational coursework requirement of two courses with a grade of B or better to remain in the program. The OMSCS is a selective program and will only accept applicants that show potential to succeed at graduate level CS courses. If you're missing some of the required skills, you may need to wait months or even a year or more to catch up on the missing requirements before getting accepted in the program. The OMSCS has two application deadlines throughout the year. August 10th for the spring cohort and March 10th for the fall cohort. Be sure to have your unofficial transcripts and three letters of recommendation ready before the deadlines as all materials are needed to grant admission into the program. In my opinion, the OMSCS is a well-documented application process and it clearly addresses commonly asked questions on the website. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling into an online CS Mastery program like the OMSCS, check out my short playlist on the process. See you on there.